Hello and welcome. My name is Emeka Afibo and I'm thrilled to be here today on behalf of my colleagues at the Africa Deep Tech Foundation to announce the semi-finalists for the Africa Deep Tech Challenge 2025. The Africa Deep Tech Challenge or ADTC was launched on May 14, 2025 and our mission was to identify and support some of Africa's most promising innovators who are building breakthrough tech that can thrive under resource constrained conditions. We believe in spotlighting and empowering African deep tech builders to create solutions that flourish despite the limitations on our continent. The stakes are high. We're offering $20,000 in equity free grants, personalized mentorship, and direct access to investors. This year, the challenge has been an incredible journey. We hosted five bi weekly info sessions to guide participants. We also shared over 100 technical resources and provided support through a dedicated Telegram channel. We've collaborated with more than 13 partners to provide insights on innovation and commercialization. Now, if you haven't already done so, you can view the amazing submissions on the gallery using the link on your screen, bit.ly slash ADTC 2025 hyphen gallery. Now, we want to give a massive shout out to all our partners who made this possible. Your support is what drives us forward. We would love to thank Future Africa, IHS Towers, the Lauren Innovation Hub, the AM Distinguished Ambassador Community, Data Melon, the 3MTT Program, EMSI, Rust Africa, Google Developer Groups Lagos, the Co Creation Hub, Keller, ARVR Africa, the Omniverse, and Web3. Africa, as well as the ISN Innovation Hubs. We also owe a huge debt of gratitude to our incredible judges who had a very difficult job picking the semi-finalists from an amazing collection of projects. A huge thank you to Judy Tokonkwa, Omojumila, Shehu Umar, Mbangula Lamek, Silas Adekunle, Alex Sado, and Zach El Fasi. And of course, we couldn't have done it without the support of our subject matter experts who anchored our knowledge sharing sessions. Thank you to Olua Tobio Inyola, Peter Eng, Maxwell Madoka, and Shehu Uma. I would also like to thank my teammates, Bolahan Ali and Fumi Olumoko, for their tireless contribution to give us and get us to this milestone. So let's take a quick look at the milestones we've reached together and how we got here. On May the 14th, we launched with this challenge with more than 13 sponsors and partners. We received an incredible 421 total submissions with 350 of them vetted as uh, worthy of making our gallery. There were 2,863 registered participants for this hackathon from more than 14 countries and we held five bi-weekly info sessions. From all of these amazing entries, we've selected just 16 semi-finalists. Before we reveal the semi-finalists, I want to take a moment to congratulate every single person who participated in this challenge. The quality of submissions was truly outstanding. To those who didn't make it to the semi-finals, please do not be discouraged. Keep building, keep innovating. Your work is very important and we will continue to publicize the incredible innovations we've seen from all participants. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the announcements of our semi-finalists in no particular order. Now, who will it be? <laughs> A drum roll. Let's go. Our first semi-finalist is Muscle a solution that digitizes African small retail operations. 
Next, we have Edge Vendor, Snooker Billard Ticketing Control System, which automates snooker tables and enables cashless play. Semi-finalist number three is Theme, an offline cross-platform file transfer solution. Number four is FarmSpeak, which empowers farmers with smart tools. Next up is Metal, offering offline contactless low-cost payments. Semi-finalist number six is Agrobot AI, an AI robot that aids farmers. Coming in at number seven, we have Fluidix Pet Automated Infusion Pump for Automated Intravenous Fluid Management. Semi-finalist 8 is VoteLink, which enables secure offline and verifiable voting. Next is Smart Safeguard, an automated gas leak detection system. Semi-finalist number 10 is SkillNodes, a scalable cloud platform for Africa. At number 11 is Herd a speech-to-text HUD for the hearing impaired. Pairware is, is semi-finalist number 12, and this is a solution that tracks and manages energy usage. Semi-finalist number 13 is Cure Bionics, which provides bionic prosthetics for amputees. And number 14 is Field Edge FL, a platform that trains crop recommendation models. Next up is AgriTrack. AgriTrack GPS work classification system, which verifies agricultural equipment sharing and billing. And our final semi-finalist is Accra IQ which optimizes transit by reducing route redundancy. We would like to say congratulations to all 16 semi-finalists. The full list will be published on DevPost and uh, on the Africa Deep Tech website. So please be sure to check out all the incredible submissions on the contest website and on DevPost. So what happens next? Our semi-finalists will enter the mentorship and refinement phase where they will receive expert feedback. This will be followed by the prototype and pitch preparation phase where teams will sharpen their solutions. So we're going to give the semi-finalists extra time to work on their solutions uh, to get it ready for the next phase. And from here, we're going to pick the finalists and there will be no more than 10 of them who will pitch to our judges at the final event, which will be broadcast live. And they'll be pitching for the grand prize and also, of course, getting global exposure as they do so. So we'd like to thank you all for watching and for being part of the Africa Deep Tech Challenge up to this point. Be sure to follow us on all our channels to keep up with everything regarding the Africa Deep Tech Challenge and to find out who eventually wins. We cannot wait to see what these innovators build next. Thank you for your support and for your engagement. Bye-bye.